The Berenstain Bears, God Bless Our Country, by Mike Berenstain. It was a beautiful early summer afternoon in bear country. Bees were busily buzzing in their hives and cowbells clunked over at Farmer Ben's farm as milking time drew near. Brother, sister, and honey bear were busy too. School was out and the first big event of summer vacation was coming up, the Bear Country 4th of July Parade. The cubs were going to ride their bikes in the parade. They were decorating them with red, white, and blue ribbons and streamers. Prizes would be awarded for the most patriotic looking bikes. Best of all, there were fireworks after the parade. Mama and Papa were getting ready too. Mama was sewing flags and bunting for the parade route. Papa was trying on his old army uniform to wear while marching with other bears who served their country. Mama took a break from sewing to call the cubs in for a snack of milk and honey bread. My old uniform doesn't seem to fit very well, said Papa, trying to button it. I'll have to let it out, said Mama. You want to look your best for the big birthday party. Birthday party? said Brother, munching his honey bread. Whose birthday is it? It's the birthday of our country, of course, said Mama. That's what the 4th of July is all about. You mean countries are born like babies? asked Sister, sipping her milk. In a way, said Papa. Our country was born long ago when the settlers who came here decided they didn't like being ruled by a king who lived in a far away land. What did the settlers do to change that? asked Brother. They created a brand new country of their own with ideas that suited the brand new country, said Papa. They wrote down their decision on a famous paper and signed it on the fourth day in July. That's why the 4th of July is our country's birthday. But wasn't the king in the faraway land angry? asked Sister. He certainly was, said Papa. He sent soldiers to take his country back. A terrible war broke out. But we won in the end, right? asked Brother. That's right, said Papa. Thank goodness, said Sister. And thanks be to God, added Papa. We believe that it was God's will that our new country came to be. And it gave folks from all over the world a place to go where they could to be truly free. Yes, indeed, added Mama. As the Bible says, he brought us to this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. We certainly have plenty of that, said Sister, finishing up her snack. On the morning of July the 4th, the Bear family was ready for the big event, the parade. Mama's flags and bunting were waving in the breeze. Papa was lined up with his fellow army bears. Brother, sister, and honey joined the other cubs with their decorated bikes. Up on the reviewing stand, Mayor Honeypot gave the signal for the start of the parade. All the Bear Country cubs pedaled forward on their colorful bikes, a river of red, white, and blue. After the cubs came the army bears. Papa looked fine in his uniform now that Mama had let it out a bit. Marching bands followed, playing for all they were worth. They even played the famous patriotic march, the Stars and Bears Forever. There were fire engines, antique cars, tractors, and horse-drawn wagons. There were floats showing the history of bear country, there were bear scout troops waving flags and cheerleaders twirling batons and doing flips. When the last cheerleader had flipped her last flip, Mayor Honeypot awarded prizes for the most patriotic bikes. Ferdy Factual won first prize and he deserved it. Ferdy was riding an old fashioned high wheeler and was dressed as Abraham Lincoln. And Brother, Sister, and Honey won second prize. They were very proud and felt very patriotic. Finally, as evening gathered, it was time 
for the fireworks. Happy 4th of July, called the mayor, as the first rocket soared up and burst overhead. God bless our country, said Papa, saluting. Amen, said Mama and the Cubs. Placing their hands over their hearts, they gave thanks to God for a land that's free.